Um, I'm not sure how long part four would be, right? Because we've kind of gotten all the rewards. So, uh... Okay, we'll, we'll quickly bust it out. We'll start it right now. She seems to be waiting here, so we'll, we'll, we'll see what we can do. All right, Paler, part four. Ah, nice to see you. Hi. You're looking in good spirits. I haven't done part four. Oh, ooh, spoilers. The museum is spoilers. these days. I've never seen it so full of visitors. You run a tight ship here. Yeah, I do. Still, it'd be nice if those kids would stop littering. It's barely lunchtime, and I've already picked up three half-eaten packs of Snow White popping candy. Popping candy? What? Is there something you want to talk about, Halo? Ah, don't worry. Nothing was stolen this time. Yeah? You remember that Norbert guy we captured? The Silvermane guards have acquired new intel from him. Yeah? I thought you might find it interesting. Like what? I always wondered, how did he, a rich kid with virtually no real-life experience, suddenly think of becoming a smuggler? Wait. There's Sampo. no way someone like him could have come up with the idea of disassembling a sculpture and hiding the pieces inside robots. It's Sampo. The result is just as I expected. This is how Sampo is connected After to this. After less than half a day of interrogation, it's how he's connected. he confessed everything. He admitted that a mysterious figure named Mr. Coldfeet persuaded him to target the museum exhibits. Oh, yeah. Mr. Coldfeet fooled Norbert into believing that many of the museum's artifacts were forcibly seized from private collectors by the Silvermane guards. He told him that true justice would be returning the artifacts to the people. Norbert probably <laughs> didn't believe any of that nonsense. I'm sure he didn't. I think he just wanted to prove himself and add more to his fortune. Yeah? Mr. Coldfeet not only introduced him to buyers, but also gave him advice and only charged him a 30% consultant's fee. In the opinion of our young Mr. Norbert, the deal was too good to refuse. Did you find this Mr. Cold Feet, perchance? Uh, <clears throat> That's what I wanted to discuss with you. Yeah? Norbert said Mr. Cold Feet operates with extreme discretion mm. and knows the Silvermane guards his every move like Ooh. the back of his hand. Oh. If he catches wind about the slightest rumor in the city, he'll disappear without a trace. We happen to know a man like that. If what Mr. Norbert said is true, then our safest option is to send a civilian to try to reach out to Mr. Coldfeet and lure him out of his lair. You want me to go and meet him? You guessed it. Everyone agrees that there is no better candidate than you. What? Norbert says he usually communicates with Mr. Coldfeet through the door of a room in the Goethe Hotel. The usual agreed meeting time is... right now. How Take am I the... final request from the Silvermane Guards. Can you go to the Goethe Hotel to meet I'll go, you? but I'm not the best candidate. I'm literally the savior of your world, right? By that definition, I'm the opposite of the best candidate because I am known for justice. Now, would a criminal mastermind really want to meet with the man known as Justice himself? I don't believe so. But maybe that's why I'm not the writer of the story, right? Maybe like Mahoyo is like thinking on a different level. But generally speaking... Is that me? The picture is, uh, is predominantly grayish white hair, androgynous, and looking straight at you with a sense of lukewarm something. Baseball bat, and it's inc incidentally clear to whom this figure refers to. You peel it off for the sake of battle logo for your own sake. Wait, we take it down? No! No! I wanted to have it there forever! Oh shit, almost got hit. Watch what you're driving, buddy. Jesus Christ. Oh, there's a trash can I haven't interacted with. Has that trash can always been there? I don't remember. I remember we did our trash can escapades. Alright. Come on, Sampo. Just reveal yourself. Oh. Unrelated, but I uh, kind of, uh, I think the Sampo is a part of the Masked Fools or whatever the other group is. The factions under AHA, the Aeon Relation. Maybe. There's a lot of lore probably that could lead to that. I think so as well, to some degree, that him and, uh, he's, he's connected to Elation, definitely. But there's not any abrupt information. It's all stuff that you have to read very deep into. Instead of him being a member of the Stellar Hunter like other people. Oh, he's definitely not a part of Stellar Hunters. I don't believe so. 
I definitely don't believe he's a part of Galeron Hunters. I unironically feel like the Stellaron Hunters, if I'm to use an example, are something like the Akatsuki. They're very abrupt of who they are. They they tell you who they are, and they don't try to hide who they are. I feel like that's who the Stellaron Hunters are. Because the ones that we've encountered, they're like, yeah, we're, I'm a Stellaron Hunter. That's what I am. None of them try to hide their, like, identity. I feel like that's going to be all of the Stellaron Hunters that we ever encounter. Because I don't feel like they have any reason to hide. They don't have any alternative motive other than hunt Stellaron. Um, how is it? Are you at the go-to hotel? Um, I'm outside already. I'm outside the door. I knock four times in the sequence of da 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 da. So efficient as expected. You you. Uh, so secret signal. He said that with Mr. Coffee it was three light knocks, then two heavy knocks. Da 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 da. Interesting tempo. Can you can you give me a tempo, Paler? Uh, 180 BPM, 280 BPM. What's the BPM? Uh, tap thrice, tap three, knock twice. There's no response. Did I- Ugh. Norbert, is that you? <laughs> In a low voice, yes, it's me. Oh, what took you so long? Oh, I was worried the Silvermane guards might have got to you. But you're not the type to turn someone in at first capture, right? Well- it's time for me to get on out of here. After all, we already made a nice little fortune on this trip, huh? Come hell or high water, we shall forge the bonds of brotherly... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Did you stop at a bar sure. we'll on the way that. over here? You know what we are? Accomplices. You know what that means? Partners in crime. You know what else that means? What? We're not... Friends. That's a bit harsh, dude. Come All on. All right, enough chin wagon. So, how much did the microfilm sell for? Uh oh. I'm just gonna have to make up an amount. It's a microfilm of oh, like me, connected to me. So, has to be half a million. What? Five hundred thousand? No offense, kid, but I can't see you haggling that kind of number. Nah, believe me. Come on. Or maybe you. What, what, what kind of hotel is this anyway? You, no peepholes on the doors. He's yeah. starting to suspect me. That's Shit, good. can I fuck this up? Oh no, I've been fucking around. I better think through the next question carefully before answering. Okay, I'll try. I'll try. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. You know, I yeah? just realized there's something I forgot. Yeah. Uh, maybe you could help me remember. Okay. That gears and wisdom sculpture I told you to take apart and hide away. Uh, can you remind me how many pieces it had? None of these are correct. It, it was 50. What the fuck? It was 50, dude. Uh, well, okay, what's closer? About 40? It's not 20. It's like 60. A little less than 60. <laughs> well, now that's more like it. You there have me in a cold sweat with those jokes. <laughs> yeah, sorry, buddy. Believe me. Um, Here, hurry up and come inside. We need to discuss the details of our next operation. Here it comes, the shock. Gently push the door open and enter. Hello, Sampo. How does it feel to be tricked? How does it feel to be tricked? Uh, uh, a criminal. <laughs> You're a criminal now. Arrested. Oh, <laughs> I mean, oh... If it isn't my valued client, <laughs> shut the fuck up. I'll do the question asking what a now. Pleasant surprise to see you. I'll again. ask the questions, buddy. Isn't it amazing how fate brings people together? Huh? Huh? Our bridge of friendship could extend all the way to Everwinter Hill. Pull out the baseball bat right now. Whack him up. I guess it was you from the beginning. You're the only sly dog in this city. Yes. So you don't have any evidence. I have a conversation with you right now. I've had it. Uh, well, uh, I mean, how could you? Your old buddy Sampo is a model citizen these days. You know the guards on sentry duty in the restricted zone? I deliver their breakfast every day. No, you don't. <laughs> That's a lie. Okay. <clears throat> so, kind of cold out, huh? <laughs> Right, he's the king of uncomfortability. This, is getting uncomfortable. this man's the king of just being awkward. 
Uh, okay, okay, I have a proposal. Yeah? I'm, I'm, I'm sure you're going to find this very reasonable. I'm listening. Yeah, I made a few small fortunes in the artifact business lately, and I can give you a third of my earnings. 70%. How about that, huh? 70%. In exchange, I only ask that you please don't tell the Silverman guards about me. Uh, just tell them you missed the culprit. You're a big hero. They won't give you a hard time about it, right? How's that sound, huh? 70%. One third is a lot of money. Think about it. 70%. I would never dare to rip off a valued client such as yourself. No. Fuck you, Sampo. I don't like you. You think I can be bored? You think I can be bought? Oh, yeah. Ha, I, ha, how can you be so unaccommodating? That is not like you, brother. Sorry, I'm just... You're flabbergasted. Oh. I'm flabbergasted at your flabbergastation. I knew the good times couldn't last, but I didn't think a valued client would bring them to a close. Oh, go ahead. Notify the authorities. I'd rather burn out than... Now, this would be funny if I've just completely removed Sampo from my account just because I've arrested him. That would be funny. And there's another Sterling Hunter named Sam. I found in the database of Sam. And I think that his name is just Sam. They are trying to throw you off with uh, not continuing the sentence in database. Oh. And fool uh, those who believe it's Sampo. <laughs> Interesting. Sam. Po. Interesting. I caught him. What, Sampo? He's Sampo. I thought he's turned over a new leaf, but no, he's not turned over any kind of leaf. I'm coming over right now. Wait me, uh, for me there. Don't let him get away. I'll try. But he's a sly dog. He's probably got a smoke bomb. <laughs> and he's gone. Sampo vanished. No sound of hurried footsteps. No sound of a window or door opening. <sighs> I let him get away. Too late now. I'll have to wait for Pele to get here. Good job, Mr. Trailblazer. God damn it. Brother. My brother. Again. Where's the suspect? My my best of friend or he escaped from under my nose. I see. So he's just as cunning and crafty as ever. My best he of friend or guards into thinking he changed. It's really hard to mimic how Toto says brother. My brother. Soon. I can't even remember how he does it. This my brother. Ends here. You've helped us enough already. Leave the rest to the Silvermane guards. Roger that. Here. These rewards are for you. I hope they come in handy in the journey ahead. Right. Oh, by the way, if you still want to help run the History and Culture Museum, Miss Eris and I are always happy to work with you. Ah, speaking of which, Miss Eris was just looking for you. Why don't you go to the museum Is this and the end of part four? Or do I have to talk to Eris? Oh. I feel like Eris, like this uh, part four has been very short, which, to be quite fair, makes a lot of sense. Makes a lot of sense for part four to be short. Oh, hello. Thank you for all your help. No worries. Business at the museum is booming again. Hey, let's go, I dude. I haven't seen this many people here since I was a little girl. Fair enough. I, I didn't oh, ask. Oh, right. There's something I wanted to tell you. A man with blue hair came along and left a message. He asked me to pass it on to the manager of the museum. Man with blue hair, you say? Uh, here. I haven't read the content. Do you want to take a look? Sure. What's it say? To my dearest and most valued client, congratulations. Remember this day. Oh. As the day you almost caught the great Mr. Coldfeet. <laughs> oh, it's like Sherlock Holmes, dude. As the day you so, almost caught how is Sherlock Holmes. How's Museum your life treating you? Just a little reminder <laughs> when it comes to working in museums. I'm quite the damn hand. Oh. What I mean to say is, if you're ever in need of a passionate and professional individual, one with an inside knowledge of museum security blind spots, I'm only a call away. Don't worry. My exhibit smuggling days are behind me. <laughs> they really chose a good voice actor for him, dude. Holy crap. So dynamic. So dynamic. Oh my god, 9393. What a unit. What a unit. Oh my god, so much more though. Alright, that was part four. Now I assume there are no more parts, right? Now my assumption is that there's no more parts.